Hello everybody Welcome to Travel Guru Insights channel And today We're going to talk about Guangzhou, China We will be talking about the iconic garden hotel in Guangzhou This is a widely spoken about hotel And is recommended by many locals here this is a 5-star luxury hotel with outstanding service and a perfect blend of Cantonese heritage and history. Inside the hotel itself consists of 4 Michelin star restaurants and even a hotel museum. Upon entering the hotel lobby, You'll be greeted by a gold plated wall where it is decorated with a mix of Chinese, Western and mixed traditional Lingan paintings. Moving on, don't forget to visit the hotel garden. The hotel has a 10,000 square meter garden. You have to at least take a scroll in the garden when you're sitting in this hotel. It is decorated with Lingan Cantonese style pavilions, bridges, rock and the iconic 18 meter high man-made waterfall. Oh yes, the garden is only accessible by guests with the room key card and is open 24 hours. But the waterfall will be switched off in the late night. Next up is another cool concept that this hotel has, the LN Garden Hotel Museum, which is located on the 4th floor. The museum has a one-way entrance and will bring you around the vicinity. You will be able to see stone carvings by the ancient Romans all the way back into the 7th to 4th century BC. Stories also on why medieval inns and taverns are being built to cater to travellers and pilgrims and also the growing demands of travellers being unveiled by industrial revolution and they will also explain about the business hotels that are being built. Over here, you can see old antiques of even the pre qing period and Ming dynasty replicas, a showcase on how postal relay system and post housework in the olden days. This wall here showcases the timeline of the economic boom and thriving hospitality industry in Guangzhou itself. How the Canton Fair first came about and is still ongoing today as well. This is not surprising to Singaporeans. The Dream Cruises is a popular cruise especially in Singapore and this is a 1 is 200 replica Genting Dream Cruise ship. This was a gift presented to GZL International Travel for the tourism industry. Lastly, don't forget to visit the souvenir shops where you can see little goats which tells you a tale about ancient Guangzhou city. The hotel has a swimming pool and also a gym located on the 4th floor of the hotel. The gym is a fully furnished 2 floor gym. The 2nd floor facing the pool are the gym machines and the 1st floor consists of free weights and also an adequate size yoga or fitness room.
Next, you will move on to the rooms. There's a total of 8 lifts serving the 828 guest rooms. There are 6 different rooms where this is the premier room. A premier room has a size of 32 square meter located only on the 18th to the 21st floor. Bathroom toiletries are also provided. And this inclusive of an overhead rain shower and even an emergency call button was sighted in the bathroom. And also a drawer filled with your amenity like shaver, toothbrush, shower cap, etc. A premium room consists of a king bed. The room is equipped with universal electric sockets, two USB plugs, wireless speaker, a sofa and working desk are all inclusive. Daily replenishments of capsule coffees and TWG teas are also provided. Now for the fun part, breakfast. The Waterfall Cafe located at level 1 is more of a western style buffet breakfast with a view of the amazing waterfall through the glass windows. The Waterfall Cafe has a wide variety of pastries, cupcakes and artisanal breads. A live area for freshly cooked eggs of your choice. Soup noodles made right before you and also the freshly steamed dim sum. Some fried local snacks. Cheese and cold cuts are all inclusive. Another breakfast restaurant is the Lai Wan Cantonese Kitchen, which is a Chinese local buffet concept located at level 2. There are also cold cut meats, salad, muffins, and bread found here. But honestly, the main highlights are the Chinese local delicacy like the braised chicken feet, braised pork rib, Chinese yellow pancakes, traditional rice roll, and the other dim sum items. There is also a live station here that serves peeping hot noodles made fresh. Look at how moist this red bean curd is. Well, thanks for watching guys. And stay tuned for the next Guangzhou food edition.